welcome to all myself professor deshmukh ms presenting the third lecture based on unit number 5 having the sub topic model discretization and iteration process of elasto hydrodynamic lubrication so in this case we have to see how the model will be defined for the elasto hydrodynamic lubrication that is elastic and that of the dynamic action of the lubrication where it provided now look at this this is the model discretization and iteration processes so mathematical model is adopted to solve the entire ehl problem and is discretized as a illustrated in figure number 5 the contact surface is discretized into n1 and n2 with 125 into 125 nodes n1 and n2 is the number of nodes in the equation in the x1 and x2 directions so x1 and x2 be the directions and n1 and n2 be the number of nodes to be discretized okay further each particle is divided into n3 n4 n5 that is 10 10 10 nodes in the x1 x2 and x3 directions respectively Calculate the initial pressure. Calculate the initial pressure P. Calculate non-dimensional W and its in, uh, increment dW in the pressure sum. Calculate the first at the initial pressure at the point of contact. then again non dimensional w that is weight and it's a decrement to dw dead weight with the pressure sum then again calculate the elastic deformation of each node okay calculate the elastic deformation of each node then again find the values of h and hc then again calculate the deformations caused by particles of each node before this we have to see the find the maximum value of h and hc deformation that we have to calculate adjust the rigid film thickness what are the film thickness in between the two points that is h00 is based on the value of dw dead weight we can say that calculate the deformations caused by particles of each node then again recalculate h non dimensional viscosity then again non dimensional density rho to solve the renal equations and recalculate the h and eta check whether iteration is governed convergent or not is it nearly to the values if not then goes to again renal equations plot h and p and this is the end so this is a flow chart for the iterations that which contain the first that is to calculate the initial pressure then again the non dimensional w we have to calculate then again increment of dw with the pressure sum then again calculate the elastic deformation of each node find the maximum values of h and hc adjust the rigid film thickness based on value of dw calculate the deformations caused by particle of each node then again recalculate the non dimensional viscosity again this all the renal equations and again recalculate check whether iteration is nearly to the convergent 
if not then again find out the the iterations now the initial processes is illustrated in this figure number 6 that we are seen the surface displacement due to the particles as a part of deformations of the contact surface is calculated okay first that we have to calculate step number 1 that is the surface displacement due to the particle as a part of deformation of the contact surface is calculated in second step the initial film thickness and the contact pressure are solved for the renal equation then again for the working conditions material properties in the third step deformations can be calculated the first steps to be updated and update the surface geometry surface geometry should be updated as a first step first step calculate surface displacement due to the particle at the part then again second step initial film thickness and the contact pressure are solved for with the renal equation for working conditions material properties in the third step deformation calculated in the first steps is used the renal equations then the shear stress is calculated to and the fourth step is to update density and viscosity so these are the steps you have to find out cal uh, to perform all these that is all the four mentioned steps repeated until the iteration factor so what is the the calculations for this that is uh, the case the surface deformation in ehl that is the elasto hydrodynamic lubrication has the two causes namely the first that is elastic deformation due to the contact surfaces and that of due to the again strains in the particles the surface deformation changes the film thickness therefore the oil dynamic pressure in the contact zone during ehl is distributed differently from that of your normal ehl case because film thickness has changed the parameter of the particles reinforced composites are in given listed table so this is the case where we have to find out the film thickness values 